right now, hundreds of people are gathering at a church to honor Aitken County investigator Steven Sandberg. He was killed yesterday morning at the St. Cloud Hospital. Investigator Sandberg was there to guard 50 year old Danny Hammond. They say that Hammond somehow grabbed Sandberg's service weapon and fatally shot the officer. Hammond was tased and eventually died from a likely cardiac arrest. We have live TV coverage from Aiken tonight. Esme Murphy is learning more about Investigator Sandberg. But we want to begin with Nina Moyni, who has some new details about what led up to this uh, horrible shooting. Nina? Hi, Frank. That's right. We are learning a lot of more new details today, but I want to talk about the really powerful scene that's happening right now here at United Methodist Church. You see hundreds of people here, but just a few moments ago, we do want to show you some video of the procession that filed through here. Uh, several vehicles, emergency vehicles, uh, deputies, people here with Aiken County Sheriff's Office driving by here, uh, essentially bringing home investigator Sandberg and hundreds of people again from the town were here to witness it. Many of them putting their hands over their heart as this procession went by in a show of respect. There was a lot of emotion, a lot of tears and just a lot of respect here for investigator Sandberg. This community wants this to be about remembering investigator Sandberg, but we do want to talk about the new details we've learned about Danny Hammond because it does help bring some light as to what exactly led up to this horrible, tragic situation. Inside the Hammond home in rural Aiken County, prosecutors say his wife described constant terror. Court documents reveal a 25-year relationship she says was full of abuse. On October 11th, Hammond's wife says she told him she no longer loved him and she wanted to end their relationship. That's when she says Hammond became violent and told her they'd be together until death do we part. She says Hammond locked the doors and removed the handles from the windows of their home. Then she says Hammond forced her to eat food laced with rat poison. She tried once to escape, but says he caught up to her near the garage. That night, she says she was forced to lay next to Hammond as he played with his pistol and would point the pistol at her and at himself. The next morning, she says Hammond let her go to her father's house. He called 911. And investigator Sandberg was among the responding officers. Prosecutors say Hammond was facing 11 felony charges in connection with tormenting his wife when he was discovered near death inside his home of an apparent suicide attempt. He was rushed to St. Cloud Hospital where deputies, including Sandberg, monitored him closely. Then came Sunday when somehow Hammond shot Sandberg with his own service weapon. The widow of Danny Hammond, who of course is going through a horrible ordeal of her own, did share with us a statement today, and she wants this to be about Investigator Sandberg and his family as well. She said to us that her thoughts and prayers are not even with her own family right now, but with the Sandbergs, and she's so sorry that all of this happened. Indeed. Okay, Nina, thank you. Uh, this afternoon,